Hi guys, what's up? It's Sophie. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm doing another video all about University of Arizona, but I'm going to be talking about pros and cons. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that for new college-related videos every Monday and Friday. Okay, let's get into the video. So first up, some of my pros could be your cons. So I just want to say that, like, some things that I really like about the school you might not like, but as a disclaimer, I really love my school. Would not want to go anywhere else. But I just want to make this to give some perspective students, incoming freshmen, anyone some more information that you might not have known about the school okay so my first pro is that there is so much school spirit like I just said I love my school would not want to go anywhere else but when you're around campus you're in Tucson like you just see U of A stuff everywhere everyone is always repping their U of A gear football and basketball games are always really big basketball even more so but there's just so much school spirit like people are just happy to go here they're proud to go here the tailgates are huge every Saturday before the football games. Literally the entire mall is covered with people from all over who come just to celebrate U of A and cheer on the team. That was one of the things I was really looking for in a school is just having that school spirit and like walking around campus and everyone's like happy to be there and I definitely think that U of A has that vibe. My first con is that it is a big school. Obviously it's a state university so that means that you're probably gonna have big classes. I was like 50-50 on big classes and small classes for freshman year. I had some that were literally like 300 people in a lecture hall and then I had some that were like under 20 people. So if you are the type of person who needs that small class environment all the time, then that's going to be hard to get at U of A because just with any major, like you're going to have big classes with people. Gen eds are usually really big, like it's just what ends up happening. But at the same time, I did have some smaller classes. My French class was like 20 people. My English class was again like I think even less than 20 people. It was more like 15 people. So in those small classes, Classes, it's definitely a totally different experience like you totally get to know the professor more the professor knows you like my lecture halls my professors did not know who I was so that's definitely something to consider if you think you really need that small classroom environment all the time okay so my second pro again with academics is that U of A gives really good scholarships it is not cheap out of state at all it's pretty pricey but they do give really good scholarships based off of your GPA and your SAT or ACT score and you can find the chart on their website I'll put in a little picture of it right here but you can find the chart on their website and see like before you even apply what scholarship you would automatically get if you get into the school which is so nice because I was able to look and see okay if I get in I'm getting this scholarship and I know how much I'll be paying then so in terms of that if you did get good grades got a good SAT ACT score in high school then you can definitely get a good scholarship here and if you're out of state that really helps so if you're a prospective U of A student and you're not thinking of like taking the SAT or ACT because it's not required at U of A, I would say it's worth it to just do it because it can help get you a much bigger scholarship than just your GPA would get you. So yeah. Oh, another thing real quick, they don't do super score. So whatever your like best ACT, SAT like is based on the one time you took it, like you can't combine two scores together. That's what score you'll submit. It was annoying. I super scored everywhere else, but you know. Okay, my next con is that the way that like meal plan works at U of A is very weird. This could totally be a pro and like once I sort of worked around it, it became like more of a pro for me, but it is not your typical college dining hall at all. It's literally like picture a mall food court. That's what it is inside the student union. Most of it is fast food, which was I, I was like, mm, I don't really like that. I don't want to be eating fast food. It's literally just a bunch of restaurants, Panda Express, Chick-fil-A, but then there are some better options. And if you want to hear about specific places, you can check out my What You Need to Know About U of A video because I go into detail about all of that. But it is definitely not your traditional college dining hall, and it's more like you're eating takeout for most of your meals if you do a meal plan. And also with their meal plan, they're very confusing about like, okay, there's a meal plan, but then there's cat cash. Just get cat cash. Again, this is something I talked about in my What You Need to Know About U of A video. Just don't get the actual meal plan, get cat cash because it'll work everywhere, but it'll work at even more places and it's like better, so just so you know. Okay, my next pro is that literally the weather here is so nice. People always ask me why I chose to come here, coming all the way from New Jersey where it's just so different. And literally the first thing I say is like, well, I wanted to go to school somewhere warm and literally the weather here is 
unmatched. It's so nice. Obviously, the summers are really hot. I'm here right now. It's like 110 degrees outside today, but the fall and the spring are beautiful. Even in the winter, it gets a little bit cold. Like, I was wearing jackets and stuff, and I was, like, freezing going out at night sometimes, but it's nothing compared to New Jersey, so I guess I can't really complain. It's sunny pretty much every day, and I was so sick of the snow, of the rain, just the cloudiness of back home. I'm the type of person who, like, my mood when it's, like, a nice day out is so much better than my mood on a day when it's just, like, gross and rainy, so I just really love that about Arizona in general. Okay, so my next con is also about the area and Tucson in general. Tucson is an interesting place. I don't think I would ever want to live here really besides college because it's definitely just a weird city. There's a lot of different areas. Some of them aren't very nice. Some of them are kind of sketchy. You like have to be careful and like not walk alone at night if you're a girl. Always go with a group of friends. Do not Uber alone. Like there's just a lot of like sus people. Not on campus. Like you're going to be pretty much safe on campus. You don't have to like be like scared with me saying this. I'm just saying in general like parts of Tucson are sus and not necessarily the nicest. My next pro though is that the campus is so nice. When you're on campus, that's where I usually stay when I'm in Tucson. It's just on campus, around campus. It's so nice. It's so pretty and like the architecture and all of the palm trees and stuff. It's so nice. I toured a lot of college campuses and this was definitely the prettiest one by far that I saw. And then there's just a lot of good amenities on campus. Like the gym is also so nice. There's a huge huge pool and like places to tan by the pool and everything on campus is pretty contained so you don't have to worry about like driving from one side of campus to the other it's a nice walk it's like it's nothing crazy there are some like buildings that are a little bit further like the honors village is sort of out of the way a little bit off campus but for the most part everything is close together it's super easy to get around you can get around without a car if you're living on campus or by campus without an issue and for such a big school the fact that it is a smaller campus is really nice because I know a lot of like big universities there's like buses that you have to take like I visited UGA and we had to like take a bus to do our tour around because it was so big and I like the fact that it's a big enough campus but it's not overwhelming you can get it down in a few days of being here my next con is just the general reputation of the school now I personally don't have an issue with it but there's definitely a party reputation here everyone's always like oh it's a party school and while like like yeah that is true that doesn't mean that it's like not academically good like I've had some hard classes I've had some great professors and I think people say that to like sort of discount like that it's like not a good school but, like when I was deciding on schools and telling people a lot of like people would be like oh that's just a party school and I'm like yeah I really don't care like it's fun but I don't know that could be a con to some people so that's why I put it there and going off of that another con is that when you're under 21 it is all Greek life in terms of partying and stuff for the most part the bars here are very strict. You're probably not gonna get in if you're under 21. It's very hard to. You'll probably just have your fake taken away. So if you're looking for a school that has a big bar scene, you're not really gonna find that here until you're 21 and over. The main party scene is Greek life and the frats and everything, which if you're a guy, that kind of sucks because it's a lot harder to party. Unless you're a guy who's joining a frat, you're not really, you're not going to frat parties. Whereas like if you're a girl and you don't join Greek life, you still can. It's not like a if you're a girl, you can go to parties, you know. I do think that is something to consider about U of A because, yeah, if you're a guy and you want to go here and you're not joining your frat, it can definitely, I think, be harder to meet people and party and it's just not the same sort of experience that you might get at another school where it has more of a bar scene and it's not, like, super strict. But then going off of that, my last pro is how big Greek life is and just there's so many ways to get involved in general. I wanted a school with big Greek life because I wanted to to join Greek life and I love it. I'm a part of a sorority. I'm in Chi Omega and it has really enhanced my college experience for sure. I've met so many people through it and just done a lot of fun stuff. But like again, like I said, while that might be a pro for me, it might be a con for someone else if you don't want a big Greek life school. I personally love it. I think it's really fun. And there's also many other ways to get involved. There's so many clubs and just so many ways to meet people. 
difficult if you don't want to join Greek life, but the Greek life here is very good. We have a Greek row that's right next to campus where most of the houses are. There's a few that are a little bit more off campus, but for the most part, everything's on Greek row. Okay, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything college related, anything about U of A, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe for new videos every Monday and Friday. And you can also check out my social media if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not filming. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!